Okay, now that we've imported the authors, we want to be able to import the blog posts and link the author to the items in this list. So we're going to jump back into the SQL. We're going to, we're going to want to actually use this uh, database name for the authors and interjoin it on this blog posts query. The reason we want to do this is because instead of this GUID here, what we want to do is have an actual value there. So we we'll do an inner join on this as authors. We're going to want to give the entries as posts on posts dot author equals authors dot ID. And then here we're going to want to have to tell it that the title is from the posts table. The title URL is from the post table, so the date and the content. This one is going to be from the authors table. And it's going to use the name. But we want to get it as authors still. So we're going to run it. Now we're seeing, instead of a GUID, we're getting an, an actual name value. So our SQL is working. I want to copy that. Jump back to Sitecore. And we're going to want to do the same thing that we did with authors, where we create a, a folder for it to get imported to. We want to create a template. And now here, we're going to actually use uh, a couple of different things. So the first thing we want to use is title. Date. We're going to do this as a date time. Author. And we want to use, uh, this is a drop link. We want to be able to import content from SQL and actually have it in a import it into you know, a usable way in Sitecore. And, and this is a good example of how we're going to do that. We also want to pull in the content field, which is the body of the post. We're going to use a rich text. We're going to use a static value. And a static value is basically just a value that you predefine that's going to enter into a field. It's not pulling it from SQL. It's you kind of stepping in between this import process and saying, here's an additional value that I want populated when this process goes through. That might be a list of tags. It might be anything. Uh, it's a static value. You're going to set it later. Uh, so here, we're just going to leave it as a single line text. And then we want the URL. And this we want set as a general link. Uh, as you'd expect, you'd want it to be imported as Sitecore data types. So we'll hit save. Then we're going to create the actual data import, another SQL import for blog posts. Now we're going to paste the SQL query in there. And this time we actually do want to use this item foldering section. And we want to folder by date. You can ultimately folder by name. In this case, we don't really want to do that, but in some cases, you might. And we're going to use the date field. Again, we're just going to go with the default common folder. Import it to where? Blog posts. Import to what template type? Blog posts. Pull the item from what field? We're going to pull it from the title field. So hit save. And now we want to define the fields. A field by field. So the list of fields that are provided in this system, in this data importer, there's five here currently. I'm sure over time it'll grow. You are also able to create your own. Uh, we'll go into that in uh, a next video or two. 
but we have five right now. List to GUID is going to be what we're going to use for this author field. So we're pulling in, we've already pulled in the list of authors, and what we want to do is set this author field on the blog post to the GUID from the list that we've already created. So that's why it's called list to GUID. So we're going to create one of these for the author field. Now these uh, field types have a couple of different sections. Each one might have a, a different set of fields. Uh, in this case, the base mapping is always going to ask you to what Sitecore field you're going to want to enter this into. So the blog post template that we created, we want to put this into the author field. Uh, this class is what's going to manage the actual mapping of information, and this is the assembly that's going to run it. Uh, so here the source list is actually telling us, asking us where is this source of authors that we're going to pull from. So we tell it that folder. And what field are we going to pull the value from? In this case, it's going to be the author from, from the SQL. So we're going to hit save. The date to date field is going to convert a SQL date time to a Sitecore date time. And here it's going to put it into the date date field, and we're going to pull it from the date field as well. We want to insert a um, static value into the static value field. I believe that's what we double check when and end it. Yes. And we're just going to import some static value. Hit save. And we're going to use the URL. So we're importing to the URL. Um, but the value we're pulling from is the title URL. And that's what we want to put here. And that's going to create, you know, this URL to link is actually going to turn this in, and insert it into a general link tag. Then we want to do to text, which is it's just straight the text value, the string value from SQL to a string value of an item. In this case, we want to use the content, content to content. We're also going to use uh, this for the title, title to title. Now that we've built our blog post import definition, what we want to do is then go into the data importer. Um, you'll see we don't have this yet because this was open before we created that definition. So you want to just hit refresh and it'll pull it in. Select blog posts and then hit import. You'll see that import finished. And then we can refresh content tree. You'll notice it's also folded. Here's what a post looks like. So you've got the title, you get the date, you get this author. Uh, that's actually, it is working. Let's see. One thing we forgot to do is set the source on the author field. So let's save, jump back up. So this is uh, a drop link, and now you can select which author you want to pick. The content is pulled in from the SQL. Some static value was pulled in. And your URL uh, was also generated. So this, and you can see that the values are actually pulled in. This is what your, your link field is going to look like. So that's a that's a basic import um, with the default with a, an example for each of the default fields. So the next video will go into Sitecore imports, which is basically copying or or altering 
an existing content tree like this and moving it into a new set area of the content tree and modifying it along the way.